Here we have WL3210, which is a wall system. It's good for one and two hours. This is our one hour wall again. So we can either have steel or, or wood frame studs here. We have an optional steel sleeve, which we have. So this sleeve can be a minimum of zero to two inches of annular space. So we're well within that. It's uh, pre-caulked already, as you can see. Uh, we just wanted to make things a little bit easier on ourselves here. Uh, but you definitely need to deal with the annular space around the periphery of the sleeve as well as what's going on inside, which is what the putty is gonna help us out with. So still reading through here, this pipe, uh, this sleeve can actually be at a 45 degree angle if we needed it to. And then under number three is where we see that cross-sectional fill of 48%. So Eddie, what do we have, a four inch uh, sleeve here? What about two inches With worth about of cable? Two inches worth of cable. So uh, that will get us just under 48% because the interstitial space, and I love saying interstitial, uh, does not count in between the cables. So this two inch bundle in a four inch sleeve is right about the maximum that you could have per this system of 48% cross-sectional fill. So now we have a minimum of uh, zero point contact so they can be touching to a maximum of one and a half inches of putty around the outside. Reading that system, we're gonna keep going down further. Uh, mineral wool may be required in the system if you use sealant, but since we're using putty, we're gonna use a depth of putty that's not gonna require any mineral wool. Now what is that depth? That depth is going to be one inch There we putty. go, and that looks about that one inch. Make it not required to have any mineral wool. So that one inch of putty is going to be put around, and he's gonna center it because that's, uh, it's always best practice to, to kind of get it centered there. And then he's gonna just rip off the excess that he doesn't need there and get about an inch in there. He's just gonna go ahead and work it in there. So once again, going back to that sleeve, we're gonna need to, to caulk around there and as you can see, we used our LCI sealant there. Um, when you're dealing with a penetration such as a sleeve with cables in there, both manufacturers have to be represented within that same opening, as we know from our training. Meaning that the sealant that we use around the periphery of the sleeve needs to be from the same manufacturer and compliant with the system of the interior fire stopping material or the putty in this case, which it is. So Eddie, it looks like uh, we have a pretty good system there, WL3210. In the meantime, for more information, please visit www.stifirestop.com.